Ukraine's Magura V-5 uncrewed surface vessel drones start hunting Russian aviation. Footage posted by Russian media has shown that a Magura V-5 uncrewed surface vessel used by Defense Intelligence of Ukraine's Group 13 Special Forces Unit to destroy a Russian speedboat in the Black Sea on the 6th of May was equipped with R-73 air-to-air missiles. Ukrainian military news outlet Militani reported this. The Russians claimed that a photo of the drone taken from a helicopter showed that one missile is missing. The drone allegedly managed to launch it at a Russian Mi-8 helicopter but missed. Experts from Militani noted that the video shows a superstructure aboard the drone which resembles a Soviet R-73 air-to-air -air missile. In addition, it can be concluded that anti-aircraft USVs continue to carry warheads and can target enemy ships as after critical hits to the drone, a powerful explosion occurred. The R-73 is indeed a short-range air-to-air missile that can also be launched from ground-based systems. It does not require radar or other systems for guidance since it is equipped with its own infrared homing seeker head. The launch system typically features guides for two missiles. It is likely to be stabilized to compensate for sea motion and is rotatable. The missile's own seeker head is likely used for target acquisition. The Magura V-5 was developed by a Ukrainian private company called Special Techno Export. Relatively little is known about the company, which keeps a low public profile for security reasons. The original drone prototypes were offered to the security service of Ukraine. At that stage, they had a simple design that bore little resemblance to the version in use today. It employed a single communication channel via Starlink and had a simple engine, navigation and control system. At the same time, Ukraine's Directorate of Military Intelligence had also been exploring the possible use of marine and airborne drones and created a separate department for the use of such unmanned systems named Group 13. The head of the division known by his call sign, Borets, said the department had been working on seaborne drones since the summer of 2022. U.S. began preparing a new candidate for post of President of Ukraine to replace Zelensky, Russia. The United States is preparing a new candidate for the presidency of Ukraine and currently four or five possible replacements for Zelensky are being considered. This was reported by the Russian Foreign Intelligence Service. According to the Foreign Intelligence Service Press Bureau, the Americans are not satisfied with Zelensky as President of Ukraine, especially since after May the 20th, he will completely lose his legitimacy. It is assumed that in the event of major failures of the armed forces of Ukraine at the front, the former KVN member will be removed, blaming all the failures on him. And instead of Zelensky, they will put one of the candidates under consideration. Poroshenko, Klitschko, Ermak or Zaluzny. According to Russian claims, the Americans don't care who will be at the helm of Ukraine as long as they continue the war against Russia until the last Ukrainian and are controlled by Washington. Zelensky no longer looks good against this background. He has played his role and must go into hiding. And his rating is rapidly slowing down, especially among the Ukrainian military. The Americans have intensified efforts to find an alternative to the current Ukrainian president. Corresponding contacts have been established with the leader of the European Solidarity Party, Petro Poroshenko, and the mayor of Kiev, Vitaly Klitschko. Secret work is being carried out with the head of the Office of the President of Ukraine, Andriy Ermak, the former Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, Valery Zaluzny, and the ex-speaker of the Verkhovna Rada, Dmitry Razumkov, says the Foreign Intelligence Service report. It is worth noting that information about Zelensky's replacement is not the first. This was mentioned earlier. Russia threatens Western leaders they won't be able to hide on Capitol Hill or in the Elysee Palace. The deployment of Western troops to Ukraine would be akin to these countries declaring war on Russia and lead to a catastrophe on a global scale, Russian Security Council Deputy Chairman Dmitry Medvedev said. Sending their troops to the territory of former Ukraine will mean their direct involvement in the war. We will have to respond to this and, alas, not on the territory of former Ukraine, he wrote on his Telegram channel. He added that in this case, Western leaders won't be able to hide on Capitol Hill or in the Elysee Palace or on 10 Downing Street. A global catastrophe will ensue, Medvedev concluded. 
According to him, the cause of the discussion on dispatching Western troops to Ukraine, launched by French President Emmanuel Macron, is a shameless calculation for political bonus points. Some kind of a total degradation of the ruling class in the West is underway. Medvedev clarified and reiterated that the extent of the catastrophic nature of such a clash was something US President John Kennedy and Russian leader Nikita Khrushchev could grasp over 60 years ago. Yet, current immature imbeciles who got to power in the West keep failing to recognize this, he added. Following these threats, it is noteworthy that Russian President Vladimir Putin has ordered tactical nuclear weapons drills in response to what the Defense Ministry has described as provocative statements and threats from the West. Moscow will carry out the drills in the near future to increase the readiness of non-strategic nuclear forces to perform combat missions, the Defense Ministry said in a statement, noting that they will be held with Russian formations from the Russian Southern Military District and Russian Navy forces. During the exercise, a set of measures will be carried out to practice the issues of preparation and use of non-strategic nuclear weapons, the Defense Ministry said. The exercises are aimed at maintaining the readiness of personnel and equipment of units for the combat use of non-strategic nuclear weapons and ensuring the nation's territorial integrity and sovereignty in response to provocation statements and threats by individual Western officials against the Russian Federation, the ministry added.